So what is diastasis recti? What does diastasis recti actually look like? These are questions a lot of new moms are asking themselves because many are suffering from still looking pregnant or they might notice their belly has a strange shape even months after giving birth. Let's talk about what diastasis recti is, how you can identify if you have it, and some tips on how to get started on healing diastasis recti naturally. So what is diastasis recti? DR, the abdominal muscles and surrounding tissue have to stretch to accommodate for the growing fetus over the course of pregnancy. The two sides of your core muscles stretches or tears at the central vertical line. After delivery, the condition persists in up to 60% of women who has given birth. What you see on the screen is actually myself at 15 weeks postpartum and I still look like I as if I was carrying a baby. The condition is usually painless, but it's the appearance pain that make you look like you're still pregnant. That is the most painful part. And I experienced this myself actually twice after my first and second pregnancy. After the first pregnancy, I had no idea. The second pregnancy, I finally knew what it was, but I didn't really know how to heal it. And I thought that, you know, having that bulging belly was it actually baby fat, but it's not. So it usually accompanied with back pain, bloating issues, sometimes it can cause a hernia, pelvic floor weakness, incontinence. This is largely due to not knowing how to manage your abdominal core pressure properly. When people ask, is this a safe exercise for diastasis recti? One of the main idea is to manage your core pressure properly so that you're not allowing your stomach to dome excessively in the midline of your abdomen. The doming you see here is leaning back without engaging the deep core or the transverse abdominal muscles properly. You can see that the stomach is making a coning or doming shape in the vertical midline. Now here's another video that I am doing a dead bug exercise on the floor. You know, the dead bug is quite popular for healing your diastasis recti. The comparison here is without engaging the core, you can see that the pressure is pushing up at the midline and with engaging my core while extending my arms and leg and you don't see the coning anymore. So how do you manage this pressure and flatten your stomach without doming your core while doing an exercise? So number one, you can relax and retry this exercise again by engaging your deep core muscles. Number two, reduce the range of motion, meaning less arm and less legs motion. Instead of a full leg extension, just try to bend your foot first. And number three is just to do an easier exercise instead. This exercise could be just too difficult for you. Now, if you really wanted to heal your diastasis recti and flatten your stomach, go check out this video where I will show you the only three exercises that you need. You can do it at home today, right now, after this video and see it for yourself. That's all you need. And I'll explain the reason why these are the only three exercises that matters. Go check out there and I'll see you inside.